Good afternoon, dear children. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon. We are discussing lesson in the earlier cities, right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. In the last class, we discussed about new craft in the city. Harappans, uh, they use many objects. All these were made of stone, metals. So they were from the from the discussion we understood they were familiar with metal, right? Copper, silver, gold, etc. Then let us see about all those. Then harappans were familiar with seals, right? What is seal? I mean, it's a device used to make impression, impression on paper. Yeah, paper. it is a device yeah. used to make impression on paper, clay, or wax, right? Okay. Harappans were familiar with seals. Seals. Seal. Okay. And uh, I have shown you the picture of seal, right? Yes, ma'am. Uh, design of, you can see um, animal design on the seal, and you can see some letters. But our scholars or historians, they did not, the historians not yet decoded the letters or the script of Harappans. Not yet decoded script or letters of Harappans. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am. Yes. Ma'am, in means they don't know the letters at that time. They know the letters, but historians, they couldn't find it. Okay. Then I have told you, they made seals out of stone. And these are rectangular and have animals carved on. You can see design of animals on the seal and you can see some letters and our historians or scholars not yet decoded the script or letters on the seal then next next we discussed about they have made pots they used pots right and uh, they designed it with the black color and they design their pots with black color this is about new craft in the city Ar um, archaeologists have found many objects from harappan signs which were made of stone shell metals right from this we understood they were familiar with metals and they use copper and bronze for making weapons ornaments and vessels and they use gold for making ornaments and vessels and they use seal it was made of made out of stone and the seals were rectangular right then uh, you can see animal design on seals and some writings also but uh, uh, scholars or historians not yet decoded this letter and they used pots and they made and used pots with beautiful black designs. Clear? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Then, next about archaeologists have found cotton things. Right? From this, what we understand cotton was grown at Mehergarh about 7,000 years ago. We have learned about Mehagag in the previous lesson. Do you remember? I have told you what yes, about the life. They believed in rebirth, life after yes, death. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Yeah, not it means present it is in Pakistan. It's a part of it. Cotton was grown at Mehagar. It was a part of Harappan civilization, right? Okay. Then cotton was grown at Mehergarh about 7,000 years ago. So archaeologists got many evidences that our Harappan people were familiar with cotton or they use cotton. Let us see what all the evidences. See, 
you can see this picture the same picture is there in the textbook right this is stone statue of an important person right it's showing he wore on uh, a very good embroidery embroidery cloth see and this is the shows the statue shows he wore a cloth or embroidery cloth then archaeologists found many evidences right they have found actual piece of cotton cloth right uh, it was attached to a lid of a silver vase and some other copper objects at mohenjo daro see this is a lid you know what is lid right yeah a cotton cloth is attached to the lid maybe uh, may, uh, to open the or to lift the lid yes ma'am this lid it was used to close a pot or something else right or their vessels so a cloth a cotton cloth was attached to this lid so this is one of the evidence archaeologists have found out from harappan civilization then then they use spindle halls right it was made of terracotta i have told you what is terracotta right yes, it is a uh, fired clay used for making ornaments but here they use uh, terracotta for making spindle halls i'll show you a picture of in this see this one they use this device to spin thread they use this for spinning thread clear yes ma'am now these all are the evidences or evidences that archaeologists have found out from harappan civilization from this what we understood harappan people were familiar with cotton 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 right Next yes ma'am the main point they use cotton ma'am so cotton was grown at mehargar Yes, ma'am. The seamers were one animal. All the pictures was one. The sea Sorry. animal. Sorry, ma'am. They they you they have using seals, right? Yes, they use seals, right? Okay. Yes, they use seals. Are you familiar with seals? What is your doubt? Asking, I think she's asking that uh, they use seal and wear the all the animals same in that. Animals are always same in one seal. Ah, oh, you can see um your design of animals on it, right? Was it same? Yes, ma'am. Same yes. animals image carved on the seal, right? Your question is clear. You are yes, asking. same animals are carved or or say uh, same animals designs were carved on seal right yes ma'am they reared animals they engaged in rearing of animals maybe different animals images were carved on seals okay then Okay. This is about cotton, right? So they were familiar with cotton, or cotton was grown at Mahigar about seven thousand years ago. Then archaeologists got evidences of cotton clothes. It was attached to the lid of a vase, and it was attached to copper objects found from Mohenjo Daro. Then they used spindle halls uh, to spin thread. It was made of terracotta. It was made of hard clay. Then, then, then I have I told you in the beginning, archaeologists have found many objects 
from Harappan civilization or Harappan cities, right? Different part of the city. So they believed or our historians or archaeologists believed this was the work of specialist. Who is the specialist? Who is the specialist? I'm a person who is a specialized. Yeah, yeah, a person who is specialized or trained to do one job, right? One particular yes, job. Okay. Ma'am, he should be an expert in it. Yeah, he should be an expert in it, right? So what? who is specialist? Specialist is a person who is trained to do only one kind of work. Then as Smriti uh, said, he should be an expert in that work, in his work. Clear? So yes. our, our historians yes. believe, or archaeologists believed uh, this uh, they archaeologists got many ev evidences or they got many objects from Harappan cities or the, from uh, Mohanjadaro, Harappa, Lothal and other places, right? All these were the works of specialist. Person who uh, is trained to do only one kind of work. For example, person who trained cutting stones, polishing beads, making seals, right? Who are making seals? Who Man, makes seals? Scribes. Scribes. They were expert in it, right? Yes, they were specialized in it. They knew how to write. Yes, ma'am. Clear? Specialist. So yes, many specialists were there in Harappan city. Shall I move to the next topic? Yes, yes. yes ma'am. Next is in search of raw material. In search of raw material. What is the meaning of raw material? See all these. Uh, and such as the raw raw materials that are uh, raw. Raw materials are. Stones, yeah, that we get from nature. It's called raw material. It's a basic material. Right? Raw material is a basic material from which actual product is or from which a product is made. Raw material is a basic product from which a product is made. For example, cotton. Cotton is a raw material. Have you seen cotton, raw cotton? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Plastic. Cotton. Yes, ma'am. Plastic is also a raw material, right? We can. Yeah. Cotton is a raw material, right? Yes, ma'am. Then from cotton, we produce cotton clothes, cotton bag, right? Cotton fabrics. What is a raw material then? Cotton is a cotton. Raw material. basic product from which we made different products. Clear? Yes, ma'am. Raw material is a basic product from which a product is made. Then in the last class, I have told you about rulers. They plan construction of special buildings, right? Or important buildings. So say they sent people or they send their men to distant places for collecting things. Precious metal, stones. stones, precious stones, etc. Right? For the construction and they have kept something for themselves. Okay. King sent people to distant places or far away places for collecting objects, for collecting things. That you know, right? Okay. Here, what is the raw material? Raw materials are the actual products one second. Raw materials are the actual or the basic product from which a product is made. So, how did they find raw materials? Some raw materials were found naturally and some raw materials produced by farmers. Oh. Can you see example? Of this raw materials found naturally and raw materials by farmers. Stone. 
Yes. Yes, Geetika. And stone. Stone. Other minerals like copper, bronze. Aluminium. And, yeah, all this found naturally, right? Okay. Then, raw materials produced by farmers. Ma'am, wheat. Wheat rice. Wheat rice. So oh, it's a raw material. You can <laughs> from which we produce wood. From some plant. Plant. I have given one example as for raw material. What is that? Cotton. Cotton. Who produces cotton? A tree. A tree. <laughs> farmers. Yeah, farmers, right? Farmers produce cotton. Okay, some raw materials are found naturally, and some are produced by farmers. Right? For example, we can say cotton is a raw material produced by farmers. Right? Then metals is a naturally occurring things. Right? Metals are naturally occurring on minerals that are naturally occurring things. Right? Some minerals, like those all those minerals. Are naturally occurring objects. So some are naturally occurring, some are produced by farmers. Then, from which all places they collected raw materials? Let us see. From which all countries or places they collected raw materials? See. This is an example. I told you cotton produced by farmers to make cloth. Other raw materials such as gold, silver had to be brought from other places. Then, copper brought from Rajasthan and Oman. Then, tin. It's a mineral. It's brought from Afghanistan. Gold. From Karnataka, Karnataka, one gold mining area is there in the place Kolar. Karnataka gold mines, you might have. And uh, so, uh, people work like that, and then, um, like, uh, yeah. So people really work like that. They thought it was fiction. Yes. Africa is famous for gold, diamond, and other precious things, right? So people working in mines, taking take out minerals from the grain. That is a difficult job. It's a dangerous, risky job. Okay. Now, ma'am, uh, she is asking that in that movie, right? Uh, they are uh, like uh, the people. Are, um, the people who have the mines are. Slaving other pe people for taking the gold, right? She is yeah. asking that is it real in Karnataka also? Are people doing like that? No, not like that. So it's it was just a movie, right? It shows the problems of people who who work in mining field. But uh, in a movie, you know, everything will be exaggeration, right? Yes, especially Kannada Telugu movies, you know, right? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> anyway, it's a risky, dangerous job taking out minerals. Then next, precious stones brought from. Maggie, yes. Precious stones brought from. Gujarat, Iran, and, and Afghanistan. Afghanistan. So we are talking about raw materials from where they brought raw materials. That's why I told you, king uh, or the rulers, they planned construction of uh, special buildings, right? So send they they send their people to different part of the country or to distant places for collecting raw materials, right? So they brought copper from Rajasthan and Oman, and they brought tin from Afghanistan, gold from Karnataka, precious stones from Gujarat, Iran, and Afghanistan. They used these metals for the construction of uh, special buildings. At the same time, they have kept something for themselves, right? 
especially ornaments of gold, silver, precious stones, they have kept for themselves. Clear? Yes, ma'am. Some raw materials produced by yes, farmers. Then some uh, uh, raw materials, uh, example, this copper tin, natural raw materials, they brought from other places. Clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Next, discuss about how goods were carried from one place to another. Mom, maybe they then use, all the maybe goods were the brought farm. from other so only few things uh, they got from their local places right yes the local area yes, other all brought from distant places then Mom, maybe they used uh, some uh, small vehicles or uh, carts something yes, like carts that. they used right how were goods carried i have shown a picture of uh, objects do you remember many pictures? Yes, ma'am. See this? Yes, ma'am. All these are the pictures of toys. Archaeologists found from Harappan city, right? What this picture says? Ma'am, like ma uh, pictures of the vehicles. Which was cart that were pulled by animals. It looked like cart, right? Yes, ma'am. Pulled by animals. Uh, pulled by animals. It's a carriage pulled by animals. So, archaeologists believe or the historians believe they might have used carts for bringing or uh, to bring goods from one place to another. Another. Or carry one place to another through this actually this uh, were the remains of toys found from harappan cities okay that, that means they were familiar with this vehicle right harappan people were familiar with this one that's why they made toys Ma'am, it is just like we make toys of uh, cars and uh, these things because we are familiar. Yeah, with we are familiar with, right? Our children play with car toy, car, with the car toy. They use car toys, uh, toys of different vehicles, right? That means yes, we are familiar with it. Yes, That's why our people are making toys, yes, similar yes, toys, right? Then yes, aeroplane. Our, our children are playing with aeroplane, toy aeroplane, right? So yes, that means we are familiar with that. So here, yes, archaeologists found evidences or remains of toys. Uh, children must have played with it. So that this shows they were familiar with carts. So they believed they might have carried goods from one place to another uh, by using these carts. Clear? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma okay. The next topic is food for people in the city. Who prepared food for the people? People. People. Who? Who? Chef. <laughs> ma'am. Um, Very easy. Chef. Order, oh. <laughs> Ma'am, they just prepare. Who produce food? Who produce food for people in the Harappan city? Farmers. 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 Farmers, Farmers and who provide meat and milk? Farmers. Uh, herders. Herders. Farmers and herders. Herders. Herder. What is the meaning of herders? Uh, people who take care of animals. Take care of animals. Look after animals, right? The farmers and herders supply. Ma'am, what do we call the person who do both? Ma'am, hmm? what do we call uh, if a person is farmers farming? and herders? No, ma'am. Ma uh, if a person does farming mm -hmm. and herds animals also, so what do we call them? Farmer and herder. Yes, farmer and herder. No, farmer means who produce? 
Ma'am, uh, it is yeah. if uh, I am farming uh, things and giving, and I am herding animals also. So what? Oh, so you are a farmer and herder. <laughs> no, ma'am. What's the word farmer? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> ma'am, so so farmer. Farm farm. Supply the food, right? Yeah, they supply food to the people. I told you about three group of people in Harappan city, right? Rulers. Yes, Rulers, scribes, and craft person. Rulers, scribes, and craft people. Uh, yes, three group of people who control the city, right? Rulers, scribes, and craft person. Craft person. See, farmers and herders supply food. So, archaeologists have found evidences of seeds or um, wheat, barley from those places. From this, they understood they grow wheat, barley, peas, rice, etc. Then, and they reared animals, cattle, sheep, god, buffalo, all animals. So, they were called herders. And they used one instrument. It was called plow. All of you are familiar with this instrument. Have you seen plow? This one? Have you seen it? No, no ma'am. Yeah, this one carried by uh, ox. Yes, ma'am. In some farms and also yes, um, what we said. Ma'am, we can see uh, it in uh, for the yeah. shaking the soil. Uh, we have seen movies, right? Yes, but it, like is, now, it is replaced by our modern tractor and triller. Yes. Yes, and now we are using the tractors. It, uh, this, was, this instrument was used to uh, turn the soil. soil and for, dig, uh, the soil for turn soil for planting. The soil. Yeah, to dig the, the for turning the soil for planting seeds. Ma'am, it is used for preparing the soil uh, yeah. to make the soil soft that the seeds can grow faster. Yes, yes, yes. It is replaced by our modern tractor, triller, other devices, agriculture device. Okay, in early period, we use this. Yes, ma'am. Ask your grandparents, they are your parents, are familiar with the flow. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, that means one person will stand also. And yes. They yes. Safe and yes. Then uh, this region, Harappan region, uh, did not receive heavy rainfall. Okay. Then uh, they use some form of irrigation. What is irrigation? Water supply to land. Water. Right? Supply of water to land. So they stored water in tank. Yes, ma'am. Like our rainwater harvesting. Ma'am, ma most of the, uh, like... Uh, ha Harapan houses, did they have tanks of their yes. own? Uh, one uh, they had wells or tanks, right? Okay, they stored water in it, right? So, because uh -huh. this region did not receive heavy rainfall, so they uh -huh. used some form of irrigation. Some form of irrigation here means they stored water in tanks in the mom. Yes. Ma'am, like, did they store water in one tank for one house or a big tank for the whole city? Depends. Each houses had wells, right? Each yes. houses has not each house. Each uh, some houses had separate well. They had their own wells, and at the same time, I have told you uh, means a big tank of public wells were there, right? Public tanks yes. and wells they were in Harappan city. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And were there so those who did not have, uh, separate wells? They depended on. Public wells or public tanks were water. And were there bore wells? Bore wells. I didn't understand your question. Uh, I'm like uh, the uh, wells which are uh, very deep and then very thin uh, with a thin hole. That means you're asking, uh, did they use bore well or normal well, right? Yes, ma'am. I think they're not familiar with the bore well. 
Mom, I think wells. I mean, deep wells they use because this region does did not did not receive much rainfall, right? So to get rain, they might have used or they might they have they had to make deep, deep wells. Well. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So when there is uh, rain, uh, it, they can collect as much as water as possible. This is about Harappan cities, food, craft, and all, right? Ma'am, for example, sir. Sorry, dear. Ma'am, for the example, sir. This chapter is not there. I think uh, geography we have completed one chapter, motions of the earth, right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, yeah, we have completed, and our clusters is also over, right? On yes. motions of the earth. Then politics two chapter, what is government, key elements of democratic government. Very easy two chapter, right? Okay, yes, then, uh, from history, we need one chapter, right? From history, then in the earlier cities, I think we can keep this chapter from history. Okay, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Okay, ma chapter, right? See, this a uh, lot of informations are given in the textbook about uh, Harappan cities, right? Yes. See, all... Yes. You can, yes, can't skip a single sentence from the textbook. All points are important, right? All okay, points are information about or regarding Harappan life, Harappan city, Harappan people. Ma'am, are there some more notes for this chapter? Sorry? Uh, are there some more notes for this chapter in the earlier cities? Yes. Some yes. more notes. You gave some notes, right? Yes, I'll send to the remaining notes. Okay, okay ma'am. We can wind up the class. Okay, Read the textbook. Okay. Yes, ma'am. So ma be able to write one okay, word and see cues. Thank you, dear children. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Bye.